What's happening, bros? Welcome to another video. This is Nate, and welcome to Nate Chocolate Convo 2. The only podcast where building the man is the business. I'm going to show you this video. Now, when I show you this video, I want you to comprehend what you're watching and what you're listening to. I'm going to give you some opinion. I'm going to give you some facts. But nevertheless, I'm going to take you to a place, a journey that a lot of people don't want to talk about. I want you to listen closely, understand what you're watching, and understand what you're listening. Check it out. Creed 3 and the latest Marvel movie, but over the weekend, actor Jonathan Majors was charged with assault after a 30-year-old woman told cops he attacked her. A Trump reports Majors says he's innocent. Actor Jonathan Majors is speaking out today after his arrest for allegedly injuring his girlfriend during a domestic violence incident. His attorney says, we are quickly gathering evidence with the expectation that all charges will be dropped. Police say Jonathan Majors called 911 himself from an apartment here in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan. He reportedly told police that his girlfriend was having an emotional crisis. But when cops arrived, she told them a different story, claiming that he struck her during a taxi cab ride after she grabbed for his phone to read a text message sent to him by another woman. She allegedly had a cut behind her ear and bruises on her face and neck. But his attorney says the woman has recanted the allegations and there is video from the vehicle where the alleged assault happened proving his innocence. The accuser has not been identified, but Majors is reportedly dating Grace Jabari, a dancer and actress. Jonathan Majors! The charges could not come at a worse time for Majors. 2023 is his breakthrough year. He is starring in two blockbusters, Creed 3 you don't remember me, no. and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. <laughs> He was also an Oscar presenter with Michael B. Jordan. Who could have imagined he would be arrested just two weeks later? And the fallout over Major's arrest has already begun. The Pentagon has pulled two Army recruiting ads that featured Majors. They were produced to run during March Madness. He got it. He was listening. He was paying attention. Close attention. Did you comprehend what you were listening to? All right. Now, let's see here. Where, sh where shall I begin? First thing first, black men, you have to understand the game to play the game. This is the game of chess and not a game of checkers. A lot of us, even even when we make success, we become successful and prosperous, we are still playing checkers. And your enemy is still playing chess. If you know anything about chess, chess is not about one or two moves. Chess is about five to eight moves, maybe even more. When people play chess, they can sit there for hours before they make a move. It's a, it's a strategic thinking game, deep thinking, every move calculated. Checkers is different. Checkers, you see an opportunity to make a move, <clears throat> you make a move. Boom. It might be one jump or two jumps, maybe three. But it's not a deep, it's a thinking game, but it's not a deep thinking game. Your enemy is playing chess. Why are you still playing checkers? Let me explain. Years ago, when black men became wealthy, whether it's because of fortune and fame from entertainment or a business or a career, they would use our own women to destroy us because they didn't want us to get more power than them. Then they started using our past, things we did in the past, jail records, arrests, 
assault cases like this one, um, allegations. Then they started using black women again. And then they started using things we did in the past. Now, if you notice, they're using black women. They're using Asian women. They're using Latino women, especially here in the States. They're using our past. They're taking stuff that we say on TV, social media sites, music. They're taking it out of context and putting it in the use of what they want want us to say. In other words, they take what we mean, twist it to what they wanted to mean, and use it against us. Why is that? What is all this thing about? Every time a brother gets to a certain point, there's some type of scandal. Why is that? This is the latest one. It's a power thing. And your name precedes you, black man. That means you can have $400 million. If your name is Mud, it doesn't mean anything. You're just a $400 million dirty man. And every time they feel or know that you get to a certain place of power, prosperity, <clears throat> prestige, all of a sudden, there's a scandal. You are accused of something. They dig up your past. They might even send somebody your way to start a fight. Now you have to spend all this money on lawyers to prove your innocence. And even if you do prove your innocence, guess what? Your name is still mud to most people. Jonathan Majors is another brother who's about to go down. By the grace of God, he won't. But if God doesn't intervene, they're going to take him down. Because he's moving up too fast. Soon as he get, he's getting ready to reach his, his pinnacle. You got two blockbuster movies. Ant-Man, The Horse Woman. Quantumania and Creed 3. All of a sudden, you are arrested in New York City for allegedly assaulting your girlfriend, who then turn around, we can't. You see that? You have to move. In other words, you have to play chess. Understand, you don't have any friends, especially in America. Nobody likes you. Everybody got issues with you. If they cannot control you and make money off of you, you are enemy number one. What must it take to get that through your thick skull? It doesn't matter if you are under the world or on top of the world. If they see you get any type of momentum and they cannot control that momentum, they are going to Try to bring you down. We don't see this so many times. And let me explain to you, um, black men, before you come at me, I'm making excuses for him. No, I don't know John, Jonathan Majors. I'm not making any excuses for him. All I'm saying is it's kind of funny that as soon as he got these two blockbuster movies, he's, he's charged with assault. He wasn't charged with assault before. You ever notice the pattern? Every time a black man begins to to gain success, all of a sudden, he gets into trouble. And it doesn't have to always be a woman. It can be a drunk, it could be a DUI. It can be a past DUI. It could be something he said online. They try to bring down Kevin Hart about what he said about the gays years ago. And he had to apologize for it. If you want to be prosperous and successful without the drama, you have to leave America. Get to a certain point. Leave America. Get your money. Go somewhere else. And start your own life. Build your own empire. You're not going to get to the point where you're just as powerful 
as them. Them mean, meaning the Caucasian man, the white government. Because they're going to find a way to bring you down. Somehow, some way. They're going to try to bring you down. And it's the same game. It's the same thing. We're going to find a scandal. We're going to put him in a position. And not saying maybe he did assault to her. All I'm saying is, it's quite funny that it came at a time where he's gaining most of his success. All of a sudden now, he want to put hands on his girlfriend. You just might want to think about that one. It's not just black women, it's just, and, and it's not just white women. It's women in general. Because every black man doesn't want to be with a white woman or Asian woman or Latino woman. He wants to be with his own black woman. But if he has any type of prestige or power and control <coughs> and respect, if the powers to be cannot control him, then guess what? They're going to use that same woman, if they can, to bring him down. It could be something as a, something as simple as an argument. Next thing you know, it's all over media. And they do the same thing with, with men who's not in entertainment. Power is power. Whether you got it for entertainment, you got it from a nine to five. If you have any type of power, control, respect, people are going to come for you. Especially the haters, especially people that threaten by you. You got to keep that in your head. Any man that has money, power, control, and respect, he has a lot of enemies. Got a lot of people that love him, but a lot of enemies. It's the same thing with pastors, the mayor, the chief of police. If you have any type of position of power, you can have your own company that very few people know about. You're still in a position of power because you own it. You own it. You control it. You make money from it. People respect you for that. You're going to have haters. And if it gets too big, then you're going to start attracting people that's threatened by it. And they are going to be the ones who's going to try to try to do to try to destroy you. So you have to think ten step ahead. If I go over here, will it cause me problems? If I date this woman, will it cause me problems? If I get into an argument with this person in public, will it cause me problems? If I give this person money, will it cause me problems? If I move in this neighborhood, will it cause me problems? How could it cause me problem? X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Then make your decision. Stop making, stop thinking you have arrived. I have money now and I have fame and fortune and people love me. I have arrived. I am, how can I say, nigger proof. In other words, they're not going to treat me like a common nigger. How many times we saw People that we love and respected, black men, that got treated just like a common nigga. He's better. He's he's no better than the niggas on the corner. He gets railroaded through the court system. Take his money, freezes his assets, slander his name, which is even worse. Cause like I said, your name precedes you. It's not just a certain type of woman. They use all women. Whatever you into, if you into a Latino woman, if she was a Latino woman, I guarantee they would have said assault. Black woman, same thing. It just happened to be a woman, a white woman. Maybe she's Italian. She could have been Latino. Based on the name. Or Italian. But nevertheless, assault case. He's losing, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, not funding. We call them people. They're investing to you. It'll come to me. But nevertheless, there's another situation where a brother has gotten caught up. And whether he did it or he didn't do it, he has to prove his innocence. And even if he does prove his innocence, 
that stench of his name of being a basically a woman beater is over his head. Sponsors, that's what it is. He's already losing sponsorship, commercials, and who and who knows what else. So you have to really, really think about what you're doing before you do it. Even if you don't have any money in control, if you have a plan and you pro- and, and, and you know your purpose and you have ambition and drive, then guess what? You really need to watch what you do. I mean, nothing is off limits. I don't care if you go boo-boo. You need to watch how you say boo-boo, when and where and how. Because they use that against you. There have been there have been many people before me, now, and and they're going to be going to be people after me. That's going to say, "Black men, you have no friends, especially here in America. There's not too many people that like you, and definitely not love you. Everybody got an issue with you, including your own women." Including other black men. <coughs> you on top of the world, they try to bring you down. You under the world, they push you even further down. You're becoming, they try to block you. Everybody has an issue with you. So you have to be a thinker out, out here. Pay attention to your surroundings. Just think about what you're doing before you do it. Especially if you're in the public eye. If you in entertainment and your your voice is over the radio waves, you're on TV, social media, movies, music, you can't be moving like you're just a common person. You got to be very, very cautious. It comes with the territory. And stop thinking you have arrived and can't be touched. You will get caught up. They did the Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby has paid them women off before. But Cosby has done that about 50 some years ago. They got threatened by him by many different reasons. Pay those women to come back up and say the same, same thing that they said in the past. They tried to lock him up. He got back out. They're the same thing to R. Kelly. They been knew R. Kelly sleeping with young girls. Where you think he got the money from? He paid the parents. In each city he went to, he paid each parent for each girl. That's a lot of money. Where did he get all that money from? The record label. It's no different from a person who likes to get high. Where where did he get all that money from to get high? From the record label or the movie production company or the sponsor or an investor. And then when they feel like, okay, you becoming a threat or we don't need you anymore, the thing that they pay help you pay for, they use it against you. And, and, and we fall for the same trick, the same thing over and over and over again. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Because... In reality, I'm going to tell you this. And you probably don't want to hear it. You probably don't want to do it. But it's like this. For for you to really, really be safe, as far with the women in America, you're either going to have to have exclusive relationships or stop dating in America. One after two. A really, really exclusive relationships or stop dating in America. If you got a big name, a lot of money, a lot of assets, a prominent name, a prominent <coughs> person in, in in the community, you might want to try dating in another country. You got too much to lose. Too much to lose. If you got some foul things that you have done in the past, and we all do, okay, 
you might want to address that. If you can't address that, you need to get your money, save, invest as much as possible, and get up out of America. Because sooner or later, you're going to get to the point where they're going to see you as a threat. Okay, let's go get them. And they'll bring up your past. Slander your name forever. Your name will never be right. This is a power thing. This is a power. This is about power and control. When a person is threatened by your power and your control, they're coming for you. Because they are they are threatened by you. Jonathan Majors, I pray for the brother that this gets reconciled and he can go back to making movies and all that good stuff. But if you know this government, this system, which is for them, by them, is against us, they're going to try to bring him down. And if they can't bring him down with this, they're going to try something else. Because as he gets um, higher and higher in the, in the hierarchy, higher and higher in the ranks, he becomes more and more powerful. He has more and more control. He's more and more of a threat to the ones that's already on top. And it's just that simple. Like I said, he could have done it, but whether he did it or he didn't do it, until he, he, until he can reconcile the situation and they forget about it, <clears throat> this could ruin his career as an actor. Just how it works. Just how it works. Just, just think about it. And we all in the same boat, including me. My podcast is not that big. It's big to me. But it's not but it might not be big to you. But guess what though? The government among other people, they're watching me with the information. They want to see if I get big, if I get too big and, and become a threat to them. And, it, and they just shut down my whole channel. Right now, I'm not a threat to them. Because if I was, they would have cast me like they did Andrew Tate, Teacher Solomon Yor, and a whole host of others. But obviously, I'm not a threat to them yet. But they're watching me. Even me. Watching little old Nate. Who's this guy? Nate Chocolate Convo too. Hmm, let's see what he's about. Okay. He's talking about God, but he's also talking about black men and how to maneuver and how to start a business and how to have families. Hmm. We're going to sit back and watch this young man. We're going to see how many subscribers he got and how many views. And let's see if one of his videos go viral. Let's see. Everybody's being watched. Once you get into the public eye, you are now being watched. Because it's about who's a threat and who's on board with our agenda. And if and if you're not on board with their agenda, that simply means that you're against it and you are a threat. So this situation with John John the Major is bigger than him dating a woman from another culture and um Hollywood trying to throw scandal, trying trying to throw dirt on his name. It's bigger than that. This is about power. And if a black man gets too much power, he will automatically just take over just by him being naturally uh, uh, naturally blessed by God. He'll just naturally take over. And they know that. Let him get too big. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop him in his tracks right now. We're going to use his own flaw against him, whether it's anger, addiction, lying, cheating, stealing, every man has a flaw that gets him in trouble from time to time, or maybe a lot, and this is no different, just as simple as that, I want you to, um, black men, this, this this show is dedicated to you. I want you to um, watch this show again, this video. Listen to what I'm saying and comprehend what I'm saying. 
that you have to be a chess player. If you're about anything, you're about getting ahead. You're about leaving a legacy. You're about being prosperous. But you are many about being on purpose. At some point in time, you will become a threat to the other people. As the young people say, your ops. And your ops is the government. The government and Hollywood, they <clears throat> work together. They work hand in hand. I got your back, you got my back. That type of thing. So just 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 <clears throat> just keep that in mind. <clears throat> just keep it in mind. So I think I'm gonna title this like Right here, John Jonathan Majors the soap case is bigger than it's bigger than what you think. That's what I'm, I think I'm gonna title this right here. But nevertheless, watch the video and take what I what I'm saying, use it for your ability. If you have any type of uh, prestige or your uh, public uh, figure. Pay attention to your surroundings. Watch what you say. You got common sense. You know what will bring drama to you. If she if she makes you mad, don't don't slap the fire out of her. Walk away. Let her hit you. Take that L. Do want to call you out? Let him call you out. And if she try to call you physical harm, ignore that. They will use it against you, especially if it's one of them. And it's just that simple. I want to thank you again for watching Nate's Chocolate Convo 2. I'm Nate. Remember, this is the only podcast where building the man is the business. As always, one, two, peace.